All right, here's something fun that I was hoping would never happen, especially on my Elgu Saturn. I unfortunately had my FEP sheet leak. The VAT leaked some resin here onto the screen, and some of it is now cured on the screen. Some of it's still wet here. So what I'm gonna try and do is just document my process for cleaning this up. I'm hoping I don't need to replace the screen and hoping that we'll be able to find a solution to getting this all cleaned up. All right, so I've got a little bit of IPA here and I've got some paper towels. So what I'm gonna do is just go through and try and clean up the resin that's on the screen as best I can. I haven't put down any IPA yet. I'm just really wiping this up. And actually it looks like it failed with some of those skull prints that I did with that last video here. I can see the skull imprints where it completely cured the skulls here on the screen. That'll be fun to get off. Uh, you never, in general, you never wanna use anything sharp on these screens because that will for sure destroy your screen. You're gonna scratch it up and it's really gonna be unusable. I'm gonna, for the most part, try and use one of these plastic spatulas here and see if I can scrape this off. And it's obviously not peeling off here. So what I'm gonna do next is uh, I'm gonna look at trying to use some IPA and see if we can get that wiped up here. I'm gonna let this basically sit in the resin that's on the screen. And I'm gonna try and let it sit there and hopefully it doesn't soak under that there. We basically want to get as much of that into the actual cured resin there as possible to be able to lift it off the screen. All right, so that was working a little bit there using the plastic scraper, and that might work for some of you. I'm adding a little bit more of the IPA mix. Uh, I'm gonna let that sit in, and I also have these plastic razor blades and we'll see how this is. It's a plastic tip, so it should be good for this screen. Oh yeah, that's, oh, that's, I can already tell. That's really getting in there and breaking this up. Oh, there we go, big chunk off. Oh, there we go, perfect. That is one nice big chunk off. Here goes the next one. Man, this plastic razor blade is doing a great job. Oh, and there we go. Ooh, yeah. Holy cow, that really wasn't too bad. And I got all the resin off of the screen. I am super, super happy about that. All right, now all that's left is for me to, I need to now replace the FEP sheet. One little cool thing that you can do is make sure to put your vat on a piece of paper. You can even do this with just filling up with water to see if you have any leaks. And then when you lift it up off the paper, you'll see exactly where your leak is. So I'm assuming in the front of my vat here is a leak within the FEP sheet, which is causing it to leak around the perimeter and is why I had those cured marks there on the front part of my display screen. So now I just need to replace the FEP and we'll be good to go. So if you have a resin 3D printer, I would highly recommend grabbing these plastic razor blades. They're $10 over on Amazon. You get two of the handles and a hundred blades. That is a crazy deal. I've links down below to that. It's affiliate links that help with the channel, so thank you. But I ended up picking up these originally to help remove stuck prints from the build plate and I uh, haven't really ever tried that, just never got around to using them, but it did an amazing job of removing the cured resin off of the screen here on the Saturn. And by the way, it has been fixed and up and running for the past handful of days, and I've done a number of prints 
that you'll see in tomorrow's video. Got a really fun one here planned for that one. Hey, thanks again for watching, you guys. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.